Hey guys, we're getting ready to pull up on a service call in this video. We're just gonna do a Wi-Fi thermostat. Now I'm a Honeywell guy, but the problem with the Honeywell Wi-Fi thermostats is they're so expensive. Uh, and Ecobee is not sold in the supply houses around here. The only Ecobee that I can get in the supply house is the the high dollar one for, you know, it's almost 300 bucks. Uh, comes with all the sensors and all that. If I want the cheaper one for like 180, I gotta get it at Home Depot or Best Buy or I don't even know if Lowe's has them, but they're not always available. Now, I know a lot of you, I mean, there's gonna be some comments about the thermostat that I'm about to show, but I sold these thermostats years ago. I never did a Wi-Fi one. And I had some problems with them, so I quit selling them. But I talked to a rep over there, and you know they they were aware of the problems and all that. But they've come a long way, and they're making a really good thermostat now. But this will be my first Wi-Fi one. Now they make a cheaper Wi-Fi one than this, but I like this one. It's priced ec economically, and it's got a really big screen. And I'm talking about the uh, the Pro One. Uh, it's very economically priced you know it's just you can't get everybody to pay for them Honeywell them high dollar thermostats it's just not going to happen so we're going to take a look at this one and try it out and what I like about it is you can remove that pro logo it's a magnet and you can install one with your name and telephone number and I've already got the badges so and, and they give them to you for free uh, I think they even come in color now. They, they used to not come in color. It was just gray, but I think they come in color now. So, anyway, we're going to take a look at this thermostat, and, you know, uh, I'm going to be getting some feedback from the customer. So, let's, uh, let's get after it. All right, guys, here's the old thermostat. I was a really big fan of these thermostats right here. Oh man, I don't see a common. I hope she's got I hope she's got one. I think the unit's in a closet right here. It is. Thank God. If she doesn't have one, I can run I can run a new stat wire, but that's gonna cost her a little extra money. Yep, there's the stat wire right there. Alright, let's let's pull it off and uh let's kill the power to the system. Just because I don't see one doesn't mean there's not one in the bundle. So hopefully there is, but I do have stat wire on the truck if we have to run a new stat wire. Okay. This is the only thing I didn't like about these thermostats is this screw, like a 10 in one will not, you can't get it in there because it's, it's not, the 10 in one's not long enough, but that's okay. I can use my stat screwdriver. she just painted oh yes there is a common it's just it's wrapped around i don't know if it's hooked up in the furnace but that's not an issue we can easily hook that up there it is right there so that'll be easy Okay, 
That's all her books. Yeah, this is a nice looking thermostat, man. You guys can say what you want about the pros. I know it's a cheap therm thermostat, but they're good thermostats. They really are. They used to not be. I hated them. I liked them, and then I had so much trouble with them, I started hating them. But they really have come a long way from where they used to be. She's going to have to touch up around it. not a good spot actually I'm gonna go right here in the center and I'm gonna poke two new holes I'm gonna do top and bottom instead of side to side that way I can kind of center it and get a I think I'm on a stud. Because I, I can't go any deeper. I'm pretty sure that's a stud right there. We'll find out. Oh yeah, that's definitely a stud. Good. Oh yeah. No doubt about it. I'm a little crooked. There we go. level go ahead and strip this blue one back We'll snap the thermostat on and see if it comes on. That'll tell us if the common is hooked up in the furnace. If not, it's a very easy to do that. And we have the convenience of the furnace being right behind this wall in a closet. Don't always get that here in Louisiana. Most of the time they're in an attic. D 
W slash E is going to be our heat. And that's the great thing about this stat. It can run a heat pump. It can run a straight cool. It does up to three heat, two cool, I believe. And then we want Y. You can even run a two-stage system on here. Okay. I'm going to snap the thermostat on and then apply the power. Power is on. Thermostat is not. That means the common is not hooked up in the furnace. So let's do that. Power off. I'll let her keep her old thermostat for a backup. Uh, she doesn't actually live here. She's turning this into an Airbnb. She lives about an hour away from here, about an hour, hour and a half away. And uh, her son was living here, but he's no longer living here. So she doesn't want to sell it. So she's going to turn it into an Airbnb. Yep, there's the common wrapped right there. Y'all can see it, that blue wire. We're going to unwrap it. Spam risk. They're breaking red with the float switch, which is good. I like that. Yeah, that thing was barely on there. Get it better, better bite than that. There we go. Okay, now the common's hooked up. Our bottom cover back on. Ow. Okay, apply power. Now she's gone. That's a very nice thermostat. It is 5.23 in the p.m. Today is Thursday. Okay, menu, tech set, heat pump, set stages, one cool, system set, Okay, we want gas. Compressor delay on. Cool fan delay 
of program we're going to turn it off and put that on 60 Filter, calibrate, cool swing, heat pump. There we go. One heat, one cool. Done. Shed it on 71. There it is. So now, press that, lights up, and then you just pop this little magnet off. I don't have good fingernails, so pop that off. It's a magnet, and you can replace it with that one that has my name on it and my phone number. I like it. That's a nice thermostat. We'll put it on about 73. Cool on, fan on. And then you flip the door down, fan, system, program. I got it on non-programmable. Here's her paperwork. Get some light on here for y'all. I'm going to put her paperwork back in here. And I'm going to leave her old thermostat here. In case she wants it as a backup. Always put the little badge in there too, just in case they don't want my badge on there for some reason. Oh, I gotta put the top cover back on the furnace. Let's walk over here though. I'm gonna put it right here on the counter by this other stuff she's got. She's got a lock right there. So I'll put her box here with her old thermostat. Um, yep, there's a trash can. I find me a place to throw this away. There we go. Put the top cover back on the furnace. And that ought to be all she wrote. Rude. Whichever one it is, the badge is gone, but it doesn't really matter. All right. Looks like she keeps her filter. Yeah, she's keeping her filter in the in the filter uh, grill instead of in the filter rack. I need to tell her she needs to put it in the filter rack. She's got a 16 by 25 right there. But I'll, that's up to her. Yeah, it's a nice thermostat. Nothing wrong with that got a nice big beautiful display all right guys that's about it let me know what you guys think i don't want to hear your negative comments i mean unless it's legit i just don't want to hear you guys oh that thing's a piece of crap or blah 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 look they're good thermostats just i mean they've come a long way and it was very easy to install it's wi-fi all she's got to do is set up her wi-fi now but she's, she'll take care of that when she comes back. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.